This is a quick video showing you how to interpret a fraction as division. This should be a review of something that we've talked about previously. Take for example two halves. We can look at this as two halves or we can look at it as two wholes divided by two pieces. Remember that this slant here means divided by but it can also be used to represent a fraction. So to have two halves it look like two holes, which are the white rectangles, divided in half. So what I really have here is I have half of the first rectangle and half of the second rectangle. And then I still have half of the first and half of the second. So I have two halves here and two halves up top. So we can look at when we combine those two halves, one half plus one half equals one whole, which is the same as two divided by two or one half two halves. Okay. Let's look at another problem or set of problems. We can have one half, one third, and two thirds. With one half, again, what we're looking at here is we have one shape, we'll do a rectangle, that we're dividing into two pieces. So what this person would get one half, and the next person would also get one half. Okay? Now for one third, we still have a rectangle. Okay, and we're going to divide it into three pieces. Okay, and the first person would get one third, the second person would get one third, and the final person would get one third. That should be thirds, not halves. Okay, so the number here tells you how many pieces are in the whole. You have one whole divided into three pieces. You have one whole divided into two pieces. Now what about two-thirds? That one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to start with two rectangles. I'm going to do them vertically. Divided into three pieces. And if I shade these in, you can see, oops, I can't really see the yellow, that each person would get an equal number. If I have three people, each person would get two-thirds. They would get one-third here and one-third here. The green person would get one-third here and one-third here. The blue would get one-third here and one-third here. Okay, Two out of the three pieces. Okay, two holes, three pieces each. Okay, say that we have another problem. If we have three halves, that's the same as dividing three into halves, or into two pieces each. And that would look like this, where we have one rectangle, two rectangles, three rectangles, and I split them into two pieces each. Now if I do the totals, we have half here, half here, and half here in green, and the bottom one half, one half, and one half. If we add these three pieces together, we have one half plus one half plus one half, which is equal to one whole and one half. And I get that same solution on the bottom. Okay, so three halves is the same as one and a half. Three divided by two is the same as one and a half. Try these next two problems on your own. The first one is four halves. Don't just say four divided by two, draw a picture that shows what you mean. When I solved it, I drew four holes. I split them each into two pieces. If I count up all of the halves, I see that I have one half plus one half plus one half plus one half, which is two holes. 
per person. So there are two holes for blue, two holes for green. If I have two holes plus two holes, I get a total of four. And the last one, try five halves. When I solve this, I drew five rectangles. I split them each into two pieces. Okay, and so I have five halves. If I do half plus half, I have one, plus half is one and a half, plus another half is two, plus another half is two and a half, which is my solution. Okay, remember as we're writing a fraction, the top number is divided by the bottom number. Okay, so five halves is the same as five divided by two.